go. Oh, there's a good boy. All right. Yeah. Like Johnny will be fine. He's in good hands. We were talking about your father, remember? I know. And I told you. I didn't know he was out of prison. I didn't know anything. But you look like you don't believe me. No, I believe that. Yeah, thanks for the vote of confidence. If you're avoiding the question, mm -hmm. what are you going to do now that he's back? Well, I better get this right, huh? Because Dusty Donovan is poised and ready to tell me whether I'm right or wrong. Well, I do think there's a right or a wrong answer, don't you? I don't know what I'm going to do. How's that for an answer? I don't have a clue. Okay, let me know when you find out. Sure. You know, just don't hold your breath. Here's a list of missing persons. Check it against your admits. Thanks. Dusty, I heard that Johnny's gonna be fine. That's great news. It's not gonna work. You can't parlay what he did to turn him into some kind of hero. What, what, what are you talking about? I bet Craig's PR people... Craig, my brother? Oh, Craig, your brother. Escaped from jail. He's in Oakdale. No, that's impossible. See for yourself. He's here in the hospital. He's here. I found him with my son in his lap. A real bonding moment. Where'd you see him? I'll show you. It'll be a pleasure. What a surprise. He's not here. How long ago is this? 20 minutes. Half hour. He probably just wheeled right out of here. Wheeled? He, he was in a wheelchair? Mm-hmm. Poor baby, getting a lot of sympathy. Just the way he likes it. The thing is, if he was on the run, this isn't really the shrewdest place to hide out, is it? Unless he wants to get Lucy's help. Or unless maybe, and I don't know how, but just maybe he's legitimately released from prison. Without you or Lucy knowing about it, one of those spur-of-the-moment releases? You know, I really, I know you're upset about this, but can I have a minute to think? I'll give you a minute to call Tom to find out what Craig did to get out of prison. And what it's going to take to send him back. Hey, Betty. Yeah, it's me. I need to talk to Tom. Well, I'm sorry you have to interrupt him. It's urgent. What do you get away with this time? He's out and he's legal. Can you look me in the eye and say it's right? The law goes by what it can prove. He stole a baby. He put his wife into a coma. Yeah. He drove my wife to a nervous breakdown. Everybody knows it. Well, the conviction you was guys the can't prove it. Appeal. Nobody heard about the appeal. Nobody had a chance to stop it. All right, but at his trial, the state used the switching of the babies as motive for the assault against Rosanna. Without actual physical proof that Craig switched the babies, the testimony of motive was excised. You're kidding me. Now, without that, the charges were reduced to reckless driving, and he was released on time served. My wife's dead. And he's ready to start over? All right, I know. I have mixed feelings about this whole turn of events. But listen, I hear you. I hear you. My brother is the big bad guy. But could you please just go rant to somebody else I'm talking, about it? I'm talking to you. Because you're a cop. Look, he's out. He's free. He's back. What are we going to do? Deal with it. Hi, grandmother. Hi, honey. Coffee. Oh, Donnie, why don't you have one of these? No, Much no, just the coffee. Mm. I, the hospital's packed. I have to go back on shift, probably. Oh, I'm so glad to be out of that damn hospital. You love it. That's why you seem in such a terrific mood. Oh, yeah, terrific. Well, I don't care what the mood is. Nothing is going to ruin this day for me. Nothing. I looked into Lily's big brown eyes. Beautiful, beautiful eyes. Oh, forgive me, Grandmother. It, it really is a terrific day. It really is. It really is. Thank God I'm not a sentimental woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not a bit. <laughs> I gotta tell you, though, that baby, Ethan, he slept through everything. He's an angel. Um, Lily was just a, a little bit confused when she came out of things, you know. Anyway, she took one look at this baby, this beautiful, sleeping baby, and held the baby, and oh, it was wonderful. And she saw her little girls who were adorable and hold him and... <laughs> We've all waited a long time for this. Oh, you're right. <laughs> okay, what's wrong with you? Nothing. Nothing. Don't lie to me, darling, because you're not good at it. 
You know how you said that uh, nothing could ruin this day? Absolutely nothing. Dad's back. He won his case on appeal, and he's been released. When? Last night. <laughs> it was another miracle. I was trying to get Johnny to the hospital. Why? What was wrong? He, he was running a very high fever. My, my car skidded off the road, and we, we couldn't get out. The door was stuck, and... Daddy found us. He got us out. And this, in the storm, this branch came crashing down and he saved our lives. Daddy, oh. and he got hurt himself. And I thought that I had an emotionally draining yeah. night. Yeah, that was my night. Here's my morning. Oh, oh. No, I'm still, I'm still trying to process the fact that my dad is back. Dusty's grateful about Johnny, but that doesn't stop him from right away being all over me about Daddy. You know, what did I know? When did I know? And he keeps asking me, what am I going to do now? And the only answer he wants to hear is that after my father saved two lives and I'm going to turn my back on him because Dusty has issues with my father. I'm supposed to turn my back on my own father. Oh, darling, darling. So you see why I'm so upset. Yes, you've had quite a morning. And of course, Dusty is absolutely right. <laughs>